Yo, what's poppin' everybody? We're the house cat. HipHopDives.com, 1.9 million subscribers are banging. Today we're in my borough um, with the ex, with a family member um, that I've been with for um, quite some time now. He's probably one of the Bronx's hottest producers. Um, everything from pop to reggaeton to R&B to hip hop, you name it, he does it. He's got a couple of hot joints on YouTube that we'll get into in a few minutes. He's got um, Tracks Unlimited. Anyway, we'll get into that too. The King of Kings, Mike Massey. Yo, what was going on, my brother? To my far right, <laughs> y'all know who that is. Yo, girl, Jay, what's up? Hey. Yo, so, my nigga. What's up, What's bro? poppin'? Long yeah, time. Right Mike's been trying to get at me to do an interview for the longest time, man, and we just haven't got it done. I had to um, track him down. Yeah, nah, he don't have to track me down, man. <laughs> we'll, we'll go into that later, but... Um, we're finally getting it done. We're finally gonna sit down and talk to the king. Right. So, talk to me. This latest video that you got, let's just jump right into it. Right. The latest video you got, um, the video, the one with the video game. Tell me about that video. Who, who came up with the concept? Uh, that's what an artist, his name is Salweso. Spanish okay. urban artist named Salweso. I produced that track for him. It's called No Entiendo. Okay. So, it kind of sounds like Nintendo. I ain't say that because I can't speak Spanish. Uh, no Entiendo. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Well, it's, 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 it's Spanish for I don't understand. All right. But since it sounded like Nintendo, we decided to go with a Nintendo concept. Right. Right, so no um, entiendo. Yeah, Nintendo. no entiendo. No. I don't understand <laughs> Nintendo. You know? I got it. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, that's great. <laughs> so go ahead. Right, so um, he produced the video himself. You know, we both exchanged ideas, but he really brought that video to life. Right. So I did um the production, and I also did the you know the video game sounds and all that stuff. So it was more like a joint project, but he really brought it to when life. When did you guys release that video? Uh, like we a week really, ago? Yeah, like a week, about a week ago. How many vi how many views you guys have? Five thousand and growing. He he gets he gets views. <laughs> Mike gets views. The song is cracked, man. Now we got you go. It's definitely a dope video. It's yeah. really catchy and it's really fun. It's my fun. Go check it out on YouTube. Um, YouTube Mike Massa. That's where you can find it. Yeah, no, uh, Sahueso, YouTube slash Sahueso. Now you just uh go to the YouTube search and write Sahueso. No entiendo, or no entiendo, sabueso. For those that people that... How you spell sabueso? Yeah, I was gonna say that. For those that don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Z-A-W-E-Z-O, sabueso. Okay, and I didn't know that. All, the, video, all the videos will pop up, yeah. just to make it easier. Check that video, man. Show your love. Um, negative comments are welcome, because you know they're going, they're going. Facts. Negative comments, they take, he takes positive comments, he takes negative comments. It comes with the package? It comes with the package. Right. How long you been doing this music thing, man? For those that don't Oof. know. I've been doing music uh, since I was 13 years old, actually. Okay, well, what was your first instrument? What did you start out with? With the PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation. The PlayStation. There was a game called the MTV Music Generator that okay. came out for the PlayStation. All right. uh, a friend gave it to me because he didn't know what that was. He was like, yo, I can't play this. I can't kill nobody. I can't get no points. Yeah. You take it. You know what's up. <laughs> right. So, you know, I, I learned it. I learned how to sample by taking a game out and putting another game in and recording samples. And I just took it off to of a game. Off of a game. The MTV Music Generator. Look it up. Okay. I kid you not. Everybody okay. that knows me knows that I started with that. Okay. That was my foundation. And then I just started learning my knowledge of the um, DA the digital audio workstations just grew and I got into FL Studio, FL Studio 4. We go, five, through, this, we go through this argument all the time about that FL Studio stuff. I, 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 yeah, I, I'm like FL Studio, but Mike is an FL Studio master. Anybody knows FL Studio? This nigga yeah. does things with FL Studio I ain't never seen niggas do. Like right. he hooks all kinds of shit up to FL Studio right. and gets it to work. You, you know? gotta make everything work. You gotta make everything work. So yeah, so then I learned that, then I started messing with Reason, then I got into Logic, then I went to school and started mastering, you know, to master the craft. Right. Because I'm self-taught, so mm -hmm. I wanted to, you know, know that everything I was doing was correct. Right. So they taught me other things, other methods, so I applied that to what I already know and then just... Took off from it. Right, because you know you can never stop learning, you know? So to date, how many joints do you think you've produced? To date? A lot, like well over 200 joints. So you got 200 joints? Yeah, well, dudes in the hood. And, you know what I'm saying? and well, how many joints do you have on stash that we don't even, we ain't even heard? Woo, a lot. A lot. <laughs> He's a got lot. like six computers behind me, man. They all fill with, <laughs> they all fill, fill me with joints. Do you have Great. a favorite, a favorite joint? A favorite video that you've done? A or favorite song? video? Uh, so I will have to say Kill Switch. Okay. Uh, it's off of my single of my, um, of my album that's dropped. That was like two months ago. A month right, ago? Yeah. Well, the song was actually done last year, but what happened was that I ended up using a sample and then Drake used it this year. Right. So it doesn't matter, he used it, that's it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of took away from from the essence that I wanted to bring to that song. Right, right. So what I did was I took it off everywhere. I took it off of SoundClick, took it off of YouTube. And what I did was I revamped it. Okay. I remade the beat, okay. I re-recorded it, and now it has its own sound, no samples, no nothing. My so. favorite part of that video was the little kid. 
That's riding the tricycle yeah. in the hallway. Who came up with that idea? That was me. That's that. You were riding the tricycle? No, no. I didn't ride the tricycle. <laughs> I would have broke that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's the video. The mask. He's got. He's got these crazy masks in the video, and he's got this little kid. That's that, my nephew. His nephew. Go. His nephew's riding the tricycle in the hallway. That shit is crack, man. Check that video out. In Kill the switch. video, you guys start really representing your your label, now, right? Right. What's right. M E M. M E M stands for Massive Empire, Empire Music, Music, which is my label. Just um started it up this year. All right. Registered it. They went through all the headaches and all of that stuff. So um, massive, you're in conjunction with. But don't want to leave out Glory Avenue. Glory Avenue. Right. How did you get hooked up with Glory Avenue? Well, I met Glo I, I went um through my sister Michelle Sings. Right. She was already down with the label Glory Avenue. Now that you mention Michelle, tell everybody who Michelle Sings. Oh, that's my sister, Michelle Sings, Voice of the Bronx. Right. She's been doing it a long time. Yes. Michelle's been doing this right. a long time, and a lot of people know Michelle. And you can check her shit out on on YouTube also. She's got yeah. tons of stuff on the Glory app. On the Glory app. Right, on YouTube, under Michelle yeah. Sings. Right. All right, I'm sorry, go ahead. So she has a new um a new single out right now called Baby I Hate You. Right. And uh, She finally let you produce a song? Yeah. For the longest time, she wasn't, I remember when she wouldn't let She you. was going there because she was messing with all these producers, you know what I'm saying? And she like, got the hottest producer in the Bronx in the bedroom, and, and sleeping right next to her in right. another, another room, and she ain't, she ain't, but she finally came around. Right, okay. finally came around, all so. Right. Um, so then, <laughs> that's the man. Go ahead. Yeah. So then, um, yeah, she introduced me to Amru, which is the captain of, of, uh, of Gloria. Gloria. Right. We started working together. I already had the um, massive Empire music already in the works. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I did that, and he's been, you know, guiding me with certain things, right. and just basically helping. He's a good dude. His okay. music is cracked, so too. He produces? No, he doesn't produce. He's an artist. He spits, sings. He raps. Shout out to everybody at Gloria Entertainment. Yeah, Amru. Uh -huh. Shout, shout out to Amru. My no disrespect intended. Shout out to Amru, Gloria mm -hmm. Entertainment. All right, so um, move past that massive, massive empire music. How yeah. many people are signed to the label besides yourself? Well, we have um, Benny Blanco. All right. We have Hoffa Mason. Are these are they Spanish? Benny Blanco is that Spanish or he's is that? Spanglish? He's Spanglish. Okay. He's like a he's like a hybrid. Okay. Well, he does English and Spanish, and Spanish? Dominican okay. and Puerto Rican. Okay. Um, we just dropped a, a song of his single is called Hoseando, which okay. is Spanish for hustling. Okay. And um, he's on that track with me. So yeah, we have Alpha Mason, we have Benny Blanco, we have Karma, which is a dope female artist from right here in the She Brooks. spits, she sings? She's a rapper, a okay. dope rapper. She's Spanish, black, right? Not nah, English. She's Dominican, but she spits English. Crazy. Dominican? Yeah. This will be the first time I've heard of a Dominican female rapper because I keep talking to Giselle G um, about finding a Dominican female rapper. And look, yeah, I, got no, Mike, no, Mike I know that it has to exist. Yeah, you, you can't. You, in case everybody doesn't know, um, Mike is Dominican and Giselle is Dominican. Dominican, and they both rep the Dominican Republic hard. <laughs> so, um, go ahead, you have a young lady on the label too? Yeah, she spit, she's dope, like she's raw, she's raw. She collab with an artist called, her name is uh, Connie Diamond, okay. on a song called Hella Hoes. Okay. Y'all can check that out, Hella Hoes, just YouTube. Okay. And um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so looking for, moving forward, I think you were telling me before we kicked off with the interview. Oh, wait, wait, my, my apologies. Mm -hmm. We have another artist called, his name is King Cash. Okay. I just haven't seen From him. The X? Yeah, he's, he's dope too. He's, he's dope a spitter? Too. He's a rapper. Okay. Um, I just produced this joint called Pocket Full of Money. Okay. You were telling me um, before we went live, before we started recording the show, you were telling me that you have an album that's getting right. ready to drop that you're currently working on. Right. Tell it's currently in the works. The, the release date is undecisive, but it's called the Black Tape Album. Okay. I got a lot of joints produced by me as well as other um, producers. So you finally went outside and, and you, you other producers? Right. Okay. Right. Because right. right. I wanted to bring a certain essence to that. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the album is real different mm -hmm. from any other music that I've created in the past. Right. Um, and it has more of a mature sound, right. you know what I'm saying? My my look now is different from before I had right. the long hair. Right, right. I was just rapping all over the place about everything. Like now, this album symbolizes me being more well-grounded and just really putting out my my um experiences, like things that I went through. Right. Everything who, all in one. Who came up with the concept for the album? Me. You came up with the concept for, for the whole thing. For the whole thing. And yeah. who comes up with the concept for your video, your videos? Uh, it's always a um, it's always a joint journey. A collaboration with the yeah, with me and the and the videographer. His okay. name is uh, Michael Garcia, MGF Films. He shot Kill Switch and he also shot the Oceano video. How many videos do you have dope. um today? Well, officially, officially, we have the one I did with you. Right. Right. See why well, he got it? Why he got it? Oh wait, no, he's talking about. I thought. Yo, all right. See now he took it off to the left. I, I shot a video for Mike and 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 and, and another artist um, that I, I will, that will remain nameless, and I didn't put it out because 
I ain't put it out, and Mike got mad at me. Anyway, that's some old side shit. We won't even get into that. Never talking about that. Now, about the video. Yeah, no, but that's, that's why when you said that, I, I thought about that video, and that's not the video you were talking about. Nah, you see, Giselle, Giselle take over. <laughs> right. Nah, take over. That's what we talking about. That's the video they talking right. about. Prime time. You can find that on YouTube. It right. features Mike Massey. Produced by Mike Massey. Produced by, by Mike Massey. Yeah, Massive. produced yours truly right. by Mike Massey. Fe featuring, featuring him, and then we've got a couple of you know the Corona family. You can't leave them out. You've got through. You've got. Mel Supreme, right. Phil the Real, um, Phil the Real, Phil the Real um, and NTL. And to fill the real NTL, Mel and Supreme, Cream the Villain, Cream right? the Villain. Yeah. Can't forget Cream. Shout out to my nigga Cream, and of course um, Mike Massif who's sitting here. He did that. Go ahead. What other video you got? Right. We have that one. We have the Kill Switch, which is the single off of my um, Black Tape album. Right. And then we have the Hoseando video too. Oh, which one's that one? Hoseando is the one I did with um, Benny Blanco. What, what? What? I've seen videos prior to that though. There was one that goes way back that you were on a bridge spitting. All right, there's another one. If you remember the video, speak I'm my mind. About. Was that it? Is it the one with the graffiti? I think it is. I, I, right. I think it's one of your older videos. It's not something you've done recently. Somebody that I used to know remix that I did way back. That's when I had the the braids right, and all right, that right. stuff. So you have a total of six, seven videos, five, a six, couple, seven videos. Yeah, around there, more and or less. Are they all under Mike Massive, or do people have to go search in different places to find? Nah, just Mike Massive. Everything will pop up. That's M I C Massive. Yeah, like everybody calls M I K E. For those that don't know. He's, he, he spits and he produces. What do you prefer doing? Do you prefer producing or do you prefer spitting? That's actually a good question. I get asked that question frequently. Well, I like doing both. You know, I get tired of doing one thing, I could just jump to the next. If I get tired of writing songs, then I jump to making beats. It's okay. just finding a balance. Now, if you get tired of both, then, you know, you just gotta take a break. What do you feel inspires you to create um, your beats. Like, what, what would take it for Mike Matt? What takes it? What What would it take for Mike Matt just to say, you know what? I, I'm gonna sit down and create a drum. Well, I gotta be in a good mood. <laughs> if I'm not in a good mood, you know, I don't want to make. I don't want to make. So music. do you just like roll music. out of bed and go to your equipment and start producing? Right. Or? Right. Sometimes I I might get an inspiration from a dream or something. Okay. Yeah, and I'll just jump right out of bed, get on the computer, do a little something, save it, and then hit it back when I'm done. Right. Right. So, um, I also know that you work at a recording studio downtown. You're an engineer. Right. Um, well, I was recording and working with Chung King Studios. Okay. Uh, How'd that go? It was good. It was good. They closed it down for... Um, they closed for, Chung King down? Yeah, they closed it down uh, for certain purposes I wasn't aware of. Okay. But they revamped it, so another company went and took over it. Okay. Yeah, so now they're doing... Um, now I was working from Chung King Studio mm -hmm. right. to Engine Room Studio. Right. Everybody say hi to my pops. Hey, hey Poppy! <laughs> Um, um, we should have just brought him on in and introduced him because Thanks. for anybody that knows Pops, man, he's always supporting Mike. He's a DJ, right. and he's probably one of the funniest, coolest people that you could ever possibly meet. Um, he just walked into the studio here and, and and waved and said hello, man. Got mad love for him and Mike's mom. Um, mm -hmm. anyway. So moving forward, what you got the project is getting ready to drop, and you're not right. sure when. Yeah, I'm not sure. I was shooting for ending of April, early May for my birthday. Right. But it all depends on um, how the mastering goes, because right now everything's getting mastered, and I'm still writing as we speak. Do you are you putting out projects for any of the other people on the label? Of course, everything on my label is produced by me for all of my artists. I was just gonna ask you, right? Is it strictly Mike Massive no. Productions? I mean, I I say is it should be Mike Massive Productions because you know we don't want to go through any headache of going elsewhere. Why would you go elsewhere and buy beats and pay a 200, 300, 500 to a thousand dollars for a beat? when you know I could provide right, that service you right, know what right. I'm saying I'm trying to work uh, smarter not harder right, right. you know what I'm saying but so, do you have projects that are coming out by them also of course Monday on uh, this Monday we have uh Hoppa Mason if I'm not I think it's the 21st we it's got a video dropping or album no we have a song dropping okay. this single okay. it's called Cero Coro okay so Spanish? it's in Spanish yeah okay and it's, it's produced by me and it's dropping this Monday is there going to be a video that accompanies the, the song or something? Uh, we'll see uh, we're, we're working on that where can it's people, in the works where can they get that song where can they listen you to can that go song? to soundcloud.com slash massive empire music he's, he's busy this is the third time his phone went off sitting here <laughs> he, you see how busy Mike gets phone went off three times in a row this is like high school when the teacher tells you everyone cut the phone off now but Mike left his phone still on yeah. um, <laughs> and anybody else besides him have a project 
Oh, of course, you have uh, Benny Blanco. He's working on his project called Hybrid. Okay. Hybrido. Then King Cash is working on his project too. We um have yet to come up with a name for his project, and so is Karma too. Okay. So everything you're mentioning with your projects, you have Hybrid, Hybrido. Like mm -hmm. you have the Spanish and English. Right. Because so that's basically. Are you guys focusing on Spanish? That's basically what we're trying to do. Um, with Massive Empire Music is just bridge that gap between English and Spanish music. Okay. So it's a lot of Latinos in. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, I wouldn't, I would, I'll, I'll sign anybody. I'll bring anybody to right. the team. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it really doesn't matter as long as you sound good. Just that these people have been around me for a while already. You right. know what I'm saying? And you know, I would, I tend to look past during the years. You know what I'm saying? And everybody was just doing their own thing. Right. You know so you finally brought everybody. everybody. Brought together. Right, right, right. Do you prefer doing reggaeton or or English? I could do both. What do you I mean, prefer? I don't think and it's not just reggaeton because the No Entiendo is like a Spanish pop kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. So, so let me rephrase. Do you mm -hmm. prefer doing something that is spat goes along with the along the lines of Hispanic or Spanish, or do you prefer pop, or do you prefer hip hop, or do you prefer R&B? I mean, I love music overall, like any type of genre. Like my pops, I just walked in here. He's a DJ, okay. so he brought me up with all these different uh, types of music, all these genres: disco, um, hip hop, rap, right. house music. So techno. it doesn't matter to you. Nah, it's anything. Like I'm well rounded with any type of genre. I can make any type of beat. Okay. What do you so, Right, as long as it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's not. What do you good. feel take it makes a good producer? A good producer, well you gotta have a good ear. Okay. You know, and you have to be open to the artist suggestions. Because a lot of people work with artists, but you know, they're be known to their ideas. Right. So you know, because they're stuck to their own stubborn ways, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But you have to be able to bring forth a touch of their imagination, Into yours, your, and your then crib. bring it together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn what's in. You gotta hear music. You gotta hear what's in uh, at the moment. Hip hop, you know, uh, uh, the reggaeton. You gotta hear the sounds. You gotta hear what's popping. You gotta be able to incorporate that into your own style without sounding like it's a, a copy of what's in. You know what I mean? Right. You do. Who are some of your favorite producers? Oh, I love Timberland. I love Ryan Leslie. I love Scott Storch. I love Jake Dillon. Scott Storch. I haven't heard that name. In a long time. Yeah. Scott Storch. Yeah, I love wow. Scott Storch. Anybody else? Uh, Jay Dilla. How about the premieres? The Any premiere, the B Nuts. So you. The B Nuts. Hey, hey. Ill, shout out oh, to shout Corona. Corona B Nuts. <laughs> um, um, Ill Mind. So, Ill okay. Mind. When you, so, so I'm going to ask you something that the producers really don't like to share this information. I'll be surprised if Mike um, answers. Oh, where, man. where? No, no, no. It's easy. Where do you get your sounds from? Because he's got, before we started taping, he's got so many sounds, it's ridiculous. Where do you get your sounds from? Well, uh, a lot of the sounds I sample. Okay. Uh, right off, off the record. Off of records? Yeah, we have a record collection over there from one side of the world to the other. Yeah, like I when said, you walk friend. in and it's like a whole up to now, to right foyer here, full of you know records. I mean? records. <laughs> so, do you, do you prefer plug-in samples or do you prefer sampling? That's it. Well, plug you gotta know. Sample. Well, I understand exactly what you're saying. You gotta be able to do both, cause if you just sample, anybody could just take a sample and loop it and add a drum pattern to it. Right. You, like I said, you gotta be able to take these things and make it your own. Okay. Then you know, incorporate some of the synthetic sounds, some of the uh, plug-in sounds, and just make it all work together. It depends what vibe you're looking for. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna, you want that gritty, real New York '90s sound. You take a sample. You add a little, a bass, a slap bass, a little piano. You so know give me your saying? favorite. What's your favorite sample? Your favorite, your favorite album or favorite song that you sample? The favorite, I would say, uh, a Danny is a Spanish song. Danny Rivera is a Danny Rivera song. Okay. And um, I forgot the name of it, but I have, I have the sample. I have actually the beat here. We could play it later. So do you, you take a very small piece of the the the, the record mm -hmm. and you create an entire song. Right. You wouldn't even know where I got the sample you, from. That, that's what makes a good producer. When you can't tell. That right. That's a sample joint. If right. I could tell that sample and I'd be like, yo, come on, I know what that is. And I should just do some drum tracks around it. But you can tell. You yeah. completely revamp the entire song. Right. Make it unnoticeable. That's the trick, too. So that they don't have to pay to clear the sound. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you feel um, are your greatest challenges being an artist producer? Well, Label owner. Let me throw that in there. Well, actually, you just said it. It's doing both. You gotta learn doing three things: label, yeah. owner, artist, and producer. That is, that's the hardest task, right there. You gotta be able to balance everything. How do you do that? Well, you gotta. Well, you have to get yourself straight. You gotta have your agenda. You gotta pick certain days to do certain things. Right. From what time to what time? You also gotta give yourself a rest, cause there's sometimes that I work all day, uh, uh, recording, doing sessions, making beats, mixing down that. 
after a while, I just don't want to hear nothing. You don't want to hear no shit. music? No. <laughs> nothing? No. 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 Trust me, even a painter gets tired of uh, it. You, you, you don't want to hear nothing? Nah, silence. You got to let your brain recharge. Okay. You know? Cause if I were to look in your phone, um, mm -hmm. what are some of your favorite artists? What are some of your favorite artists? Number one, number one, number one, Joel Ortiz. I'm a Joel Ortiz shout fan. Out to shout, shout out to Joel Ortiz that didn't give me that interview. Shout out to Fred the God, man. Oh, Fred, yeah. I, I sat down with Fred. Um, and Joel bypassed us and went somewhere else. I ain't mad at you for that, Joel, but you'll come around eventually. Um, so Joel Ortiz, what? Yeah, I like Joel Ortiz. I like Fabulous. I like okay. Jada Kiss. Fab. That, yeah. I'm, I'm glad somebody said. You know what? Now that I'm saying it, give me your top five. Because people don't, they don't include fat. My my top five. Your personal top five. I would say Joel Ortiz, Fabulous. I'm with that. I'm with that. Jada Kiss. I'm with that. I love Busta Rhymes just because of his style. So I would say Busta Rhymes. Okay, we got one more. One, two, three, four. Right. Um, hmm. I know everybody's thinking something different right well, now. Well, I'm gonna tell you the ones I get right. that everybody tells me. Give me your last one though. My last one. Hmm. I was gonna say cannabis, but he kind of messed. He kind of messed up. He was one of the first artists, the first rappers that influenced me. But you know what it is? Is that with music nowadays, society is so dumbed down by the music that they wouldn't understand what he's rapping about. And because of that, is they're immediately turned away. Mm -hmm. They're turned off. Now nah, I don't want to hear this shit. Okay. I don't know what he's talking. I don't know what a hydrochloric water is. Right. You know. So they're cannabis. turned away. Cannabis. Just because. It's, it's important to have a strong vocabulary and a strong flow. Like, it's, it's built up of a flow. You gotta have a, um, your wordplay, you gotta have punchlines, your metaphors, everything combined. Right. And he had it all. He That's just, funny, he, because nobody's giving me Eminem. Most people give me, the first three, they always give me Big Pac Pun. And I'm so tired of hearing mm -hmm. Big Pac Pun. And you just hit me with five dudes that nobody, in all the interviews I've done, Nobody has ever come with those five. So this man's the first and original to give me five that I'm not gonna dispute. I'll take those five and 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 and, and be smiling. Cannab the cannabis was actually out before Eminem. Okay. And they had a they have a similar flow because of how they rap, but Eminem killed them on it. But still, I'm a true fan. How do you feel about Bronx hip hop? Who who, who, the, the, who do you feel is Bronx hip hop now? Today, right now. Well, you're part of the Bronx hip hop sound. Right. So, how do you, what do you think is going on with the, with, 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 I mean, are you a French fan? Yeah, I'm a French Montana fan. Because so French, French, French is the only, well, no, French and Fred the God. Fred the God is one of my favorite rappers. But. I actually produced the track for French Montana and Troy Ave yeah, yeah. Stay Fly. Okay. So, yeah, I like his, you know what I'm saying? He got that, he got that real, you know, laid back type of flow. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? It's different. Okay. It's different. Do so you feel there's a lot of competition out here coming from the Bronx, on my Uh, well, you got my song. You got, Shout out to Mize, man. Yeah, you got Fred the God. Yeah, so yeah, there's a there's competition. There's Good competition. competition because nowadays everybody spits. Every corner everybody you go rap. to, everybody's a rapper, everybody's a producer. All niggas want to do is make Panda remix now. Yeah. And I'm like I said, I'm not opposed to that. Exactly. Uh, I said it, they asked me this on the radio station on 106.1, Real FM. But they asked me, uh, what do you think about hip hop now opposed to hip hop before? And I say, yo, it's just totally different. Where do I start? I had to take a a, 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 a deep breath before because I went off. It's like, now everybody sounds the same. Yes. Back in the days, the you had nobody. Jada Kiss ain't sound like Mob Deep. Mob Deep ain't sound, you know what I'm right. saying? Right, there was originality. Yeah, now everybody just sounds the same. And I'm not disrespecting the culture now or what, what it has become, but it's just like, isn't it better when everybody brings forth a different entity? I think a lot of times though so you have record labels that, that force people to sound like what's popular because at the end of the day it's about money. And A&R right. dudes don't want to take a chance of losing their cushy A&R position to, to, to sign somebody that's unheard of and that person failing, then they're going to lose their job. So they, they want to keep their expense accounts and their cushy offices and it's mm -hmm. easier for me to say, you know what, I want you to sound like Future than it is for me to say, no, I want you to sound different. Like, I actually thought the dude on the Panda re on the Panda um, song. That's a hot track. That's one of my favorite songs. It's man. dope. I loved Panda. it. Yeah, I was like, until I opened my mouth, I was like, yo, Future killed it. Everybody was like, Ooh. Nah, I love, I love the song, man. I, I'm a Panda fan. I, I love that song. <laughs> so, where were you born? You were born here in the Bronx or you born in the Dominican Republic? No, nah, I was born here in the Bronx. I was actually born in the Lincoln Hospital. Okay. Yeah, I was born here. So, you've been in the Bronx basically all your life? Yeah. Do you think Spanish music, um, Dominican music in particular, has influenced what you do? 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's part of my culture, okay. you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, I used to play the, the tambora, the Spanish drum. All right. So, yeah, you always got to be in tune with, with your ethnic background, you All know right. what I'm saying? If that's wherever you're from, Africa, Dominican, Puerto Rico. How come um, Dominican people in general don't get enough credit for being involved in hip-hop? Well, mm, I wouldn't I mean, know. Dominican people do listen to hip-hop. Young, young Dominican guys and, and girls, they're in the hip-hop just as much as everybody else. But right. they don't typically get... Um, I, Mike told me he has a, a, a Dominican young lady that spits on the label. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised because I've been looking for a young lady that spits Spanish or spits She's in English. Hardcore, bro. Dominican. And, and you don't find Dominican young people that are really into producing, spitting. They'll sing, but they're not... Why do you think that is? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think... I mean, it's the same hip hop as hip hop, you know what I mean? But it's just a different market, you know what I mean? And it's just Spanish. But I language. personally think that, I don't want to cut you off, I, mean, I don't know if you're going to say anything, but I, I personally think that once the Dominican culture grabs an artist, and I said this mm -hmm. last, last week, um, they take that artist from the street to superstar. Prince Royce, and I've said this last week. Um, there you go. Um, who's the dude from Aventura, and I keep forgetting his name? Romeo Santos, um, Kat DeLuna, she's, mm -hmm. she sings. Now you have Angelica Vila. Angelica. We're gonna write, and they take them and they and they they catapult them from zero to sixty in like two seconds. I mean, it's a different. I think it's just a different. They have a different way of doing it. All right, that's that's all I can say. So moving know. forward, are you gonna stick to English? Are you gonna transition over to Spanish? Nah, I mean I could speak English and Spanish both fluently, oh. but you know I mainly rap. In English, I can't rap the same way I rap in, in English, English Spanish? and Spanish. Yeah, and it's weird because I speak it fluently. I could write it, I could speak it, I could read it. I just can't rap it. It's just, it's just a different situation. Right. Okay. So you told me about pops um, being a DJ. Mm -hmm. How has him being a DJ influenced what you do? Well, I mentioned earlier. You know, I, I grew up around all these different types of music. You know, so he basically opened that door for me. Okay. Like you say, he catapulted me into this world of music. It was just everything. Once I like one song, nah, he'll play a, 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 a old school uh, a freestyle song. Wait a minute, I like that too, what's that? Then he'll play some reggae, I'm like, wait, what's that? Then he'll play some hip hop, then he'll play some, you know, it was all So he, he plays everything? Everything. Okay. Everything. Spanish, hip hop, R&B, freestyle. Everything. 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 That's, that's what's up. That's Every time they call him to do like a wedding, an event, or whatever, that's the first thing he asks. What kind of music you guys listen to? He's ready for everything. We actually have a, an event here where we close the street and we play I all think types of music. About it. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're gonna try to do it again this year, but we're gonna do it a little bit earlier and we're gonna try to give it a different name. Right. So yeah, it's just. All of these different types of music, it inspires you. It's hard to get bored. You know? Do you write as well? Do you write music? Uh, as far as I... Or everything you create is via ear? Yeah. You create ear. everything via ear? Yeah, I never learned how to read music write or music. write music. Is that something you'd like to learn? Of course. And Learning never stops in anything you do. Okay. Whether you're a doctor, musician, a mechanic, every day you learn something. If you have the right mentality, you know what I mean? You can't slack, you, can't, you gotta be willing to learn. For new producers out there, somebody that's in their bedroom that has no idea, and you guys don't understand how popular Mike is in the X. Mike is synonymous with the Bronx. When you drive into my borough, it says, Welcome to the Bronx, home of Mike Massive. <laughs> it says that. Um, and then under it, it says, Oh, and by the way, Yankees live here too. Um, but for, for the young dudes out there that are sitting in the bedroom not having any clue how to get started in doing what it is you do, mm -hmm. tell them how to get it done. I mean, just don't give up, you know what I mean? You're gonna get tired of doing it, you just give it a break and come back. Never lose that enthusiasm, that interest, that energy. Always always remain hungry, right. you know what I mean? And oh, don't, be, don't be scared to go on the computer and look up how to do this, how to do that, how to. As long as you have a question, you'll get the answer. It's all about learning and, and having that ambition, you know? How do you get people to hear your sounds on? Uh, what, like beat wise? How do you, yeah, how do you, because I know you're a beast when it comes to promoting yourself, but how do they get, I mean, let's say they have 50 songs they created, but they really don't have anyone to get those songs to. Without, without somebody to, to listen to them or spit on them or sing on them, then they're basically useless. Mm -hmm. How do you go ahead, how do you get people to, 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 listen to the stuff you create. Well, it's all about going out there and networking. That's a real powerful tool. You gotta use these um, social, media, social, social, media. Yeah, social media and these social sites as a platform to really push yourself. You know what I mean? You gotta 
you can't be scared to meet people. Right. You know, you can't be scared to bring people into your workspace and show them what you do. Right. It's like they say, scare money don't make no money. Right. You know what I mean? So that that's that's just an approach. What's some of your favorite gear to produce on? Uh, this right here, this is called the uh, machine. Okay. And it works with a cut. <laughs> Wait, just keep rolling and I'll, right. and I'll, I'll cut that up. Don't worry. Uh, just ask me again. Yeah, so um, what uh, what are some of your favorite gear to produce on? Well, we actually actually have this, the Machine Studio. Okay. It has some nice sounds on it. Um, the workflow is, is great. All right. And um, I'm doing a commercial for um, Native Instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Call them, get that plug in. Get that. Yeah, and that's basically it, yeah. What else do you have? Nah, that's not basically because you got a bunch of stuff back here. Oh, well, I got this drum right here, the um, Beat Thing. Okay. One of my drum machines that I have that I own. All right. And um, the sounds on here is crazy too. It's wireless. You can take it with you, which I will because I probably get wrapped on the train. Right, I yeah. Want that. Yeah, um, yeah, and um, you got import your own sounds. You can plug in um, a keyboard. Or, uh, you can plug in a microphone to sample. You could just plug in your monitors right here. Right. He just got he just got the Triton too. Now I know Triton is an old 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 keyboard, but Mike has found a way to take the Triton and take the sounds and twerk it and bring it up right. to 2016. He's also got gear to my right, and there's more gear behind me. So the bottom line is you got a bunch of gear, and, right. and that's that's how you do what you do. Right. And 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 you have to really learn how to use it and how to how, basically how to utilize it. You know what everything does. Just it's not good to just go out there and just buy a whole bunch of crap and not know how to mess with it. What what are some of your favorite um? Um, pieces of software that you use to record. I mean, there's software other things wise, like software wise, uh, Pro Tools is just like Pro Tools the industry standard. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's what the industry uses. It's okay. easy to use, you know. What? You gotta learn what the plugins do your compressors, your limiters, your EQs, all right. you know, all of that stuff. So, you're fluid in Pro Tools? Yeah. Fruity Loops? Yeah. What's the other one? Nuendo? No, not no one. Uh, reason. You use reason. And yeah, this right here, the um, the machine studio right. as well. Is reasons. Reasons. What okay, about it? Uses, but you said the machines. Oh, you're telling me the machine studio is a, is a is a recording application. Right. In addition to. It. Right. Got you. My mistake. And um, or you could open up um, what's good about it? You could open up that the machine right. studio plugin. You could open it up in FL Studio. Okay. And use it to record it. Right. Um, so we know so we know a little something about Mike the producer, Mike the rapper. Mm -hmm. Tell me something about Mike the man. Um, if I could bring your parents into the studio and ask them what Mike is like behind the scenes, what's the man like? Oh, uh, I just I'm quirky all the time. Quiet, quiet as hell. Yeah, yeah, quiet. If I'm bored, what's I'm always bothering everybody, scaring the shit out of my sister. <laughs> she hates that. Um, what are some of the things that um, that um, you do that in the music business? What are some of the things you bring to the game that separate you from other other artists out there? I mean, just, I think my style is just different. Right. Like I mentioned earlier, there's too many artists right now that sound the same. Right. So I just bring, a, I bring forth a whole different style, like a whole, like I said earlier, a whole different entity. Right. Just, you know, you, it's something that you gotta hear it. You gotta experience, experience it. Experience it? I was just right. gonna say that. You gotta experience it to understand. It's like a it's new like roller Star coaster, Wars. right? It's like a Star Wars movie. <laughs> you got to experience. experience it to understand. Right. Um, you have any questions that you wanted to have, Michael? No, I just I just know that you you were performing a while back. There was a lot of mm -hmm. performance, I guess, all over the all under the Glory Ave Entertainment. And you guys were mm -hmm. hitting up a lot of the clubs out here and mm -hmm. stuff. And mm -hmm. you, as an artist, was putting yourself out there. What can we look forward to? What can the viewers look forward to? Are there any events coming up? I mean, yeah, right now we're coordinating to uh, with other people to um, be a part of their events. We have. Uh, a show that I'm currently I'm um, talking to with a guy named Sean Dassett. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. Well, yeah, and um, I am that's now. just yeah, Sean Dassett. Check him out. No, Sean, Sean Dassett now. Yeah, and um, yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of shows because I really believe it's all about putting yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let people see you, know you. You know what I mean? Hear your music to really decide whether they fuck with you or they. Well, they don't, you know what I mean? Who are some of the artists you work with, though? Let me, let me, I know you've done a joint with Jada Kiss. Yeah, called Take It Easy. I produced it. I'm on it. I know you did a joint for French. Montana? French Montana, yeah. Stay Fly is oh. him and, um... Trey Song. No, 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 Troy Ave. Troy Ave. I always get confused with that, too. I said that on the radio. I was like, yeah, Trey so, Song. So, uh, French, <laughs> uh, Troy Ave. Yeah, Messia. Jada Kiss. Messia. 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 Mm -hmm. Who else? I know. Hueso, okay. I know you've done a lot of stuff with um, rappers on the come up here in the Bronx, too. A lot. Too many in the name. Yeah, we'll be here forever. You're going to have to change your battery on the camera. <laughs> Tell me about the 106.1 um, radio show. What's that about? Yeah, um, that's cool. I met um, 
him Wild Child 85 through Amru. Okay. I had the pleasure of meeting him. Real cool, real humble dude. Right. And um, yeah, he also does music. Uh, we spoke about him, you know, booking some time over here. Right. And um, yeah, it's just it's a good experience. It's a good vibe to be in there with people you actually get along with. Other places you go, like you don't be feeling that. Like these people talk to you, they interact with you. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you guys, yeah. basically. So what are you doing that weekly or what? Because I know. I was gonna. That was it's my been, question. It's been my question, but maybe you won't stop talking. It was my question. <laughs> I don't but, stop talking. So, so that means on the ride home, I ain't gonna say shit to it. <laughs> no, but you've been on that station a couple of times, now, right? Two or three times at least in the past. Two right, basically, like every what? time, every time we have like a new, a new song and stuff, they strict on keeping them up to date with new material. So anytime we have a new song, you go on it. Yeah, I hit them off like, yo, this is the new joint. Right away, they spin it off. I also had the that's pleasure. Of, yeah, that's yeah, that's what, what it's about. And I also had the pleasure of um. Getting my song played on Ride and Dirty Radio right. in Atlanta, and they called me up. We did an interview with them. Right. Shout out to Vic XL and Alicia. Yeah, you're doing things, man. You're doing things. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean you I'm gotta, like I said, you gotta move, um, man. In this industry, you gotta move. You gotta Tell them about the 106.1. Let's give them some advertisement. Is that FM? FM radio. Do they have a show on weekly? Is it every two weeks? Is it daily? Yeah, well, the show that I'm on, uh, they have it every Thursday at 8 o'clock. Okay, 106.1 FM. 106.1 and FM. And can, can listeners tune in and hear you every week? Yeah, that's every week. Up. Every week. They have different segments. They, they play uh, a lot of Jamaican music. They play a lot of hip hop. Okay. This week, we broke barriers. We played the No Entiendo song, the Spanish song. Right. It was so funny. It was hard for them to really get that name down pack so when we finally got it right. see i'm like, not the only one that doesn't speak spanish not it's hard it's like no entiendo then i was on oceando mm. then sahueso they're like oh so when we finally got it, it was like a celebration he was looking at me like uh we got sahueso and i was like yeah it was like sahueso he finally got it right it was um, crazy it was a, so where do you see my uh, massive empire music um 10 years i mean just doing big things hopefully we'll have some more artists under the belt right you know what I mean? We'll be doing a whole lot of shows. We'll be touring. We'll be all over the place. Just a lot of big things. Y'all just gonna have to tune in and see that. I, I'll okay. know before y'all know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, is there anybody that you wanna um, shout out? Take the five minutes. Is there anything that they should know? Why you, you know, I got you sitting here. I mean, we pretty pretty much covered up everything. I would just say follow your boy Mike Massive at Gmail. Okay. Uh, it's Mike Massive, uh, Mike Massive Productions at gmail.com, excuse me. Okay. Follow me on Mike Massive on Instagram. Follow If you follow me, you're going to see all the artists. Benny Blanco, follow Karma. Facebook, Facebook. Mike Massive, everything Mike Everything's Massive. Everything's Mike Massive. Um, if anybody wants to cop a beat, same thing, Mike Massive at gmail. You already Yo, know. there's Mike no Massive free beats. Productions. Don't hit him up asking for no free beats. Ain't nah. no free beats. Trust nah. me. He ain't giving away nothing for free. That, that, that ain't happening. Nah. Um, anybody you want to shout out? Uh, shout out my pops first and foremost shout out for just pops. being overall the, one of the biggest inspirations in my life right. and just open like I said earlier just opening the doors up for different type of music. My family, Michelle sings, you know what I'm saying? Glory uh, Entertainment. Glory yeah. Entertainment, Amru. Shout out my boy Bello Style. Shout out uh, Benny Blanco, Hoffa Mason, Karma, King Cash. I mean, we just working, just get ready because y'all gonna see an explosion. I ain't mad at you. That's what's up. Um, Anything you want to say? And shout out to y'all for having me. Yo, <laughs> I was waiting for that one. Right. Corona Queen's coming real soon. Uh, He's produced Bronx by yours truly. Corona, oh, that's right, yeah, of course. We always shout out the series. Corona right, the series, that's right. Corona the series, <laughs> coming to you soon. Mm -hmm. Productions by Mike Massive. Um, Beats by Mike have, Massive, yeah, production yeah. by Mike Massive. Don't get surprised if y'all see me in there. Oh, of yeah, 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 yeah. That was a plug, so you know that you hit me up to get in the truck. Yeah, I don't know. Anything so, else? Anybody else you want to say? Say goodbye to him? Say hello to him? Yeah, well, shout out to everybody in the hood, all boroughs, New York City. What's up? All right. Um, <laughs> G said what she had to say. I want to thank Mike Master for taking um, this hour to sit and kick it with me, man. It's, it's long overdue. Um, before I cut off, man, I got to say we sat down yesterday with um, Red Money Records Red in, 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 in out out of Harlem, mm -hmm. yeah, in Queens, and um, uh, China Mac is is i don't want to know if i should say he's locked up right now oh well, yeah it's not it's not a secret now all he, right china max locked up if y'all don't know the story while. behind it y'all can look it up we're not going to talk about that now but should happen now he's definitely back free in china mac man months. hope he gets out dude is definitely 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 on the rise for people that don't know china mac Dude can spit like he's no joke. Google him. He's not. I don't know if you ever heard of China Mac. I heard of China. Yeah, Mac. yeah, yeah. We we were we were there last night. Man, in fact, I'm, I think we got a phone call coming up to him this yeah. week. Talk to him um, in, in jail. 
Um, holding, I hope he's holding it down, man. Keep your head up, China. It is what it is, but definitely free China Mac, man. Seriously. Anyway, check out this Corona. She, uh, G already told y'all about that. I won't, won't go into that. Shout out to Terrell. I can't not shout out Terrell out. Course, all star all players. players. Gotta <laughs> shout them out. Uh, shout out to 007. Uh, shout, 07 out to shout out to Synergize. Shout out to Spell on the World. Um, I can keep going down the list. V Money. V Red. I just produced for Fellow on the World too. Gentlemen. Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> See, he's produced Fellow on the World. Shout out to Fellow on the World again. Anyway, this is your man Wu the House Cat, hip hop divers.com, 1.9 million subscribers and banging. M E M Massive Empire Music. Check them out, man. Watch out for them. Your girl G, your girl Mike Massive, your boy Wu the House Cat. I'm out of here. Peace! Thanks.